mushrooms are one of the most common and widely available of all fungi. They are known by many different names, but in this article I will be referring to them as mushrooms. Mushrooms are often eaten raw, and can be used for making soup, or as an ingredient in other dishes. In fact, they are so versatile that they have been used for thousands of years, and there is evidence that they were being eaten by people as far back as 8000 BC. There are over 400 species of mushroom that are found all over the world. The ones that grow in North America and Europe are known as the edible species, while those found in Asia are generally not eaten. The growth of mushrooms is very similar to that of plants. Like plants, they have roots that anchor them to the soil, and stems that carry nutrients and water up through their bodies. Their roots also help to absorb minerals from the surrounding soil. Mushrooms are very sensitive to temperature, and cannot survive temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. This means that if you want to grow mushrooms indoors, it is best to keep your house at around 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius. Mushrooms are grown commercially for use as food and as medicinal remedies. There are many companies that produce mushroom compost and sell it to gardeners. It is important to note that mushroom compost is not the same as mushroom manure, which is the waste product of mushroom farms. Mushroom compost is made from a mixture of fresh mushroom compost and wood chips. Mushroom compost should be added to your garden every year. A good rule of thumb is to add enough compost to cover about one-third of the topsoil. You can add more compost if you want, but make sure that you do not put too much in at once, as it can cause your soil to become compacted. If you have a large garden, you may need to add several bags of mushroom compost each year. When adding mushroom compost, it is important to mix it well with your existing soil. This will ensure that the compost does not dry out and crack, and that it will have the correct amount of moisture. If you are unsure how to mix the compost, then you can hire a professional to do it for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.